Hi, this is Kina Kim. Uh, today we're here with Sonia Sigler of Catafora. She is the Vice President of Operations and General Counsel, and she's going to share a little information today on advanced search and retrieval techniques. Sonia, thank you for joining us. Thank you for asking. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to talk about advanced search and retrieval techniques, and it's really an introduction to the topic, so it won't be anything that requires a glossary or uh, advanced textbooks or anything. It's really just an introduction to the topic. Um, most people are familiar with keyword searches and everything that's involved with that. They're familiar with using Google and other search engines. They're mostly familiar with Westlaw and Lexis and other tools like that that they use in, in the legal uh, research and writing area. And those are deceptively easy or seemingly easy uh, in the way that they use keywords. And I'm talking today a little bit about going beyond keyword use, keyword use and why you would do that. Um, one of the things I want to talk about is linguistic methods, which keyword uh, search is one, and I'll talk about statistical methods, and then I'll talk about pattern analysis. So those three things are the main areas uh, in going beyond keyword search. So the first area is really uh, linguistic-based searches, and those involve keyword search as well as other things involving ontologies um, and clustering metho methodologies. Those all involve words that are on the page. Um, and they involve um, analysis of those words, but the words actually have to be there to find them. So that's one of the ways that um, can make it difficult to actually use them effectively. Um, the other methodology is statistical methods, and that includes um, modeling the data and being able to count the number of times a word appears in a, a document or a sentence or in, in some way, whatever parameters you're looking at, if it's metadata or the actual document itself. Uh, like an email or a Word document, um, and counting how many times that appears, how many times that appears next to another word, uh, and then being able to cluster those based on those parameters. Um, so that's just a, an easy method called clustering. And the other thing is pattern analysis, and that really involves modeling the entire set of data and then being able to pick out patterns of behavior in the data, whether it's emailing at a certain time of day, whether it's answering a certain person in a more informal way, or answering your boss in a more formal way, um, or using different types of speech with different people, um, and looking at those patterns and then looking at any anomaly in those patterns of behavior. Um, that's a very different approach um, than either the keyword linguistic kind of methods or the clustering methods, um, and they can involve in that pattern analysis looking at those linguistic methods as well as statistical methods to put those patterns together. So those are the three main areas that um, I talk about when I talk about advanced search and, re uh, search and retrieval techniques. Um, most people um, rely on keyword search thinking they're getting everything they need, but keyword search can really be over-inclusive or under-inclusive, and um, most people spend a lot of time wading through material that they shouldn't have to that's um, over-inclusive. So it's getting things back when you do a search for house, um, that includes household and housemates and other things that you just don't want to see. Um, so that can be time consuming expensive if you're looking at legal review for things. Um, and really looking at all these different methods to use for search and retrieval of information is really to find the right method for what you're doing and what your purpose is. Um, if your purpose is to find information for litigation or investigative purposes, um, you want to narrow the scope of what you're doing. So you can narrow it by time, you can narrow it by person that you're looking at, you can narrow it by topic, you can narrow it by pattern of behavior or um, topic analysis in that area as well. Any of those methods could be uh, used to focus the search and focus the body of information that you're going to be reviewing. Um, most people call it and use keywords to call it and then cut everything else away and don't review that. Um, I really advocate a more focused method of review so that if you do need to change the scope of what you're looking at, the information is still there, but if you've culled it out by keyword, then it's not there any longer to actually go back to. So um, one of the things I advocate is actually just focusing the review on particular information as opposed to culling it out uh, and then not having it to go back to later. Great. Thank you so much for joining us today, Sonia.